Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone. I haven't done one of these in a while and I've gotten a few requests for this video over my past few videos, so I decided to do an updated what's on my iPhone. I also got a new case and kind of reorganized my phone a little bit, so I figured this was the perfect time to do an updated version of this video. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right, so just starting out with like the basics of my phone, I have the iPhone 14 Pro. I got it in the silver color, but honestly, it just looks white, which is what I like. I think this is the perfect size phone at least for me because I don't want a phone that's like too big to hold but also I want one that has a decent size screen like big enough screen and I feel like this is the perfect size I don't remember exactly the size of it like I think it's like 6.1 inches or something like that I think I have 128 gigabyte storage I've had this for the past like year maybe two years I don't really know and it's worked perfectly for me I love it and yeah I also just got this new case it literally came in the mail like yesterday my case is from SDH paints they have so many cool like collage style cases. This is the one that I got. I don't exactly remember the name of it, but I'll put it on the screen. Basically, it's just a cutesy little like collage with pink in it, which is what I like. I got the glossy style of the case and it is so like smooth and just like comfortable to hold, if that makes sense. Also, I do have a MagSafe charger and a magnet in my car and it still works through the case and it does have a nice little like protective rubber border around it. So I personally love the case. Obviously, I haven't had it for that long, but so far it's super cute and works perfectly. That is basically it for everything that that's on the case. I will link their website in the description down below. This is not sponsored at all if you guys want to go look at their cases. So now let's get into what's actually on my phone. All right, so starting off with my lock screen, I'm kind of swiping up a little bit because if my phone turns off, the screen recording stops. For my lock screen, it's super, super simple. I literally just have this background. It's just a picture I took at the beach with Kyle. One day we did a little sunset picnic and I took this picture. So, so cute. I just love it. So that is my lock screen. And now going into my actual phone. For the longest time, I've only had two pages on my phone. And I personally like it that way. I feel like it keeps everything more organized and I don't have to like scroll through multiple pages to find my apps. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you would definitely recognize my layout on my phone, especially for this main like homepage. I rarely change like the actual layout of it. This page might look a little different to you guys. I did recently change this around a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started and get into all of this. Okay, so this is my main homepage. This just has like all of my basic apps that mainly just come with my phone. So on the first two rows, I have FaceTime, calendar, photos, camera, notes, weather, clock, and Apple Maps. I would say I honestly use all of these apps quite often. And what I like to do is I'm a righty, so like I hold my phone in my right hand. So I tend to put the apps that I use the absolute most like on the right side of my phone so that I can easily access it with my thumb, if that makes any sense. Like I don't have to reach across the screen. So my camera app is in the top right corner so that like it's super easy to pull it out, take a picture or video. And then below that, I have this widget. This is my little calendar kind of to do events widget. I use the app Widgetsmith to make this and basically it's connected to my Apple calendar. So any events that I put in my Apple calendar show up on here for today and the next day. And then it also has like the whole calendar. It also has the whole month as a calendar little like pictures just so I could see visually like where we are in the month. I think it's super helpful, especially when I put in all my events and stuff for like school, they show up here and every day I see it and I know like what I have coming up. And then below that I have two more rows of just like pretty basic apps. We have mail, Apple store settings, Life360, reminders, two folders, and then find my iPhone. As you guys can see, I have two like location apps on the right side of my screen. Life360, I think we all know what that is. It's basically like a location service to track friends and family and all that. I use it for both friends and family. My friends have a whole like circle on there and then my family also has one. Find my iPhone, I mostly use for like my keys and like AirPods and stuff if I lose them. So those are those two. And then we have two folders. This folder, I have like a shrugging emoji because they're apps that I like sort of use but not really but they're still helpful to have. Also I just want to say I'm so sorry for the lighting changes. It's very windy today so the sun keeps going behind clouds and even though I'm using mostly like artificial light like my big light in my room the window over there is still like adjusting the lighting in my room so I'm so sorry if it keeps getting like bright and dark. I'm trying to fix the lighting as we keep going but like I was saying these are just like random apps that I've used and I probably will use but they're not like a daily occurrence. So a lot of them are like the basic Apple apps that just like come with your phone. I do have a few like traveling apps and like amusement park apps. Ooh, I do have this app, Photo Circle. One of my friends suggested this to me last summer. Basically, like, you know when you're out with your friends or family and you're like traveling or like the, you're just at like a fun event or something and you're all taking pictures, especially if you're a girl and you're out with your friends taking like a ton of pictures of each other. It can take so long to like send all those pictures to everyone and like airdrop them. And sometimes making albums, like shared albums, 
albums on actual photos just doesn't really work, especially if you're like trying to get from an Android to like an Apple phone. This app I love, my friends love. I kind of have it blurred out because these are all obviously personal photos, but I have 13 little mini albums on here. Basically, you can make a new photo circle album for like an event and you can like name it. For example, some of these are winter formal, me and Nika's birthday party, Halloween, homecoming. You can name it for the certain event and then you can share it with everyone, like the link, and everyone can join it. Everyone can add photos and videos and then you can just see everyone's photos at once and also download any of them that you like. This is my personal favorite way to share photos with all my friends and all of my friends love it too. This video isn't sponsored by the way. I would just highly recommend it. But yeah, that is basically it for this folder. And then this other folder is my money folder. So this just has all my apps that deal with my money. So we have Apple Wallet, Venmo, Wells Fargo, PayPal, Zelle, and then Givingly. Givingly is basically just an app that has like a ton of different online gift cards that you can send to people. And then on my main like little dock or like hub at the bottom, I just have the calling app, Safari, and messages. So that is the main page. And now let's move on to my second page. The second page, I like to consider this page like my fun page. Basically, it just has the rest of the apps that I have on my phone, which are the more fun apps. Just for the overall layout, I changed this up recently. As you guys can see, half of the screen is like folders and the other half are like social medias, basically. As you guys know and can probably tell, my main job is social media. So having all my social medias easily accessible is very important to me. Also in this day and age, everyone's on social media. So it's just something that I like to have easily accessible. And like I said earlier, I like to have all of my apps that are like important to me on the right side of my screen so I can easily get to them with my hand when I'm like holding my phone in my hand and I don't have to reach across the screen. So I'll just start off on the right side of the screen with all my social media. So we have TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, YouTube Studio, Threads, and Pinterest. If you guys want to find me on any of the socials, you can literally just search up Alyssa Darland on TikTok, Instagram, obviously YouTube, Spotify, and Pinterest, and also Threads. If you don't know what Threads is, it's basically like Twitter, but it's from Instagram, if that makes sense, like it's Instagram's extension. And then YouTube Studio is my little analytics app where I can track all my analytics, comments, posts, stuff like that for my YouTube channel. Snapchat, I like to keep as a little personal social media. I don't post on that for like the public. I like to keep it for friends and family. Those are the main apps on that side. All right, and now moving on to the other side of my screen, which are all of my folders. Basically, every other app I have on my phone, I like to keep organized in my folders and I'll just go through all of them with you guys. So the first one has this little computer emoji on it. This is like what I consider my work folder or like communications, I guess. So I have Gmail, which is where all of my school and business emails come through. Notion is what I use to keep all of my like content organized. Subcount is basically just an app where you can see like your subscriber count rounded to the nearest thousand. It's more just for like aesthetic purposes. Obviously I could see this on other apps, but there's that. And then I just have WhatsApp in line. WhatsApp I use for some of my like brand communications, if, especially if I'm like an ambassador for something. If I need to communicate other ambassadors or like a manager, sometimes I'll use WhatsApp. Line I don't really use. It's honestly more for my family when like some people have like Androids and some people have Apple phones and we want to have a group chat. I use Line a lot when I was on my trip to Taiwan. The next folder I have is my school folder. I just use a little headphones emoji. I like to have emojis for my folder icons. I feel like it makes it look more clean, like organized and I guess aesthetic. But anyways, I have my school folder. Obviously this just has all apps related to school. I'm not going to go through all of them, but basically we have Canvas, my school's like main grading portal system, Remind, all of the Google apps, all of like homework apps, and then some stuff related to like College Board, SAT, all that kind of stuff. My next folder is my like editing folder, I guess. I don't really know what to call this one, but basically these are just apps that I use to edit like graphics or pictures. Not really like my Instagram pictures, but like thumbnails and stuff for YouTube. So we have Pixar. iMovie is obviously for like video clips. I do also have CapCut installed, I think. Oh yeah, it's right here. I don't know why CapCut wasn't in here, but I do have CapCut for the occasional TikTok that I want to edit on there. Fonto is my number one app for editing YouTube thumbnails. I don't use any other app for my thumbnails except for Fonto and I've used it since like the first video I ever posted on YouTube. I love it so much. It's free and I would highly recommend. And then I have some like Photoshop and like photo editing apps. My next folder is my food folder. I use this one quite often. Next up, I have my shopping folder. I am missing so many apps in here. Sometimes you can get like rewards or like extra little things if you download the app for certain like shops. So I know for a fact I have so many more that just aren't in this folder. But the one I use the most in here is honestly probably Target and Depop. If you guys want to follow me on Depop, I have been selling more clothes on here recently. You can literally just search up 
at Alyssa Darland and I do have some stuff on here that still hasn't sold. I will link it in my description also if you guys are interested in purchasing. But yeah, that's it for that folder. Moving on to my games folder. I honestly don't play that many games on my phone. When I'm on my phone, it's either school work or social medias. I don't really play games or like watch shows on here, but I do have a ton of games. These are more for like when I'm traveling, like on an airplane and I can't be on social media. A lot of them are offloaded, obviously. I recently just bought the new Papa's game. I don't know if you guys also play these, but if you want to get it on an app instead of like playing it on a computer website, they're like one to two dollars, I think. And I bought the new one, which is like a popsicle one. I love it so much. It's so fun to play. Those are just the games I have on here. Next up, I have my health folder. These are just obviously apps related to health. So we have the actual health app, Flow, which is a period tracker. My chart is like connected to my doctor and like my appointments. Tonal is like an exercise thing, like the machine. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, basically it looks like this. Like we have this in our little exercise room and you can do like a ton of workouts and like exercises on it. So I have the app that like connects my account to it so I can look at all of the different workouts and stuff that I do. And then the last folder I have is this folder. I don't know why I have that emoji for it, honestly, but this is just like my shows where you can watch like shows. As you can see, they're all offloaded. I don't use them on here at all. I don't really watch shows in general, but I guess for like travel and stuff, sometimes I'll re-download movies and stuff to watch. And that is basically it for like the apps on here. Below that, I have two widgets. These two are so cute. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the bottom right one has been changing a little bit. The first widget on the left is from Pinterest. So it's connected to one of my Pinterest boards and it circles through photos every hour, I think. So I'll just take you guys into the Pinterest board that it's connected to. Basically, there's just like cute little like aesthetic pictures that it circles through. Sometimes I'll add new stuff into this board, but it circulates randomly. My other widget is a photo widget one. I love this app and like this widget system. Basically, it's connected to an album, which I'll actually go into it so you guys can like see everything. Basically, it's connected to this album in the photo widget app and you can add as many pictures as you want and it randomly circulates through all of these photos. These are the settings that I have. So I have this certain album selected and it changes photos every five minutes and it does it in like a random order. So it's not like a certain order, but this one I like to have pictures of like me and friends or me and family. So basically like my Pinterest widget always has a more like aesthetic picture of just like things, if that makes sense, like sunsets, productivity, kind of stuff like that. And then the one on the right is always personal pictures of me and friends or me and family. I really like it that way. And I love just seeing all the different photos throughout the day. Also, I don't think I ever talked about my background on my like home screen. I honestly don't know where I got this background from. I'm pretty sure it's a picture of like a sunset or a sunrise that I took when I was setting it as my home screen. I chose like the option to like blur it so that it just looks like this little like gradient. I'm honestly not sure, but I've had it for a while and I really like it. I love like the pop of color, especially as we're going into like the spring and summer season. All right. And I do believe that is it for today's video. That is everything that's on my phone. I cannot get over this case. Like I keep seeing it in the camera and I just think it is so, so cute. But anyways, that is all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I do not have a posting schedule. I'm trying to post once a week, but like I said, I don't have a schedule, so I don't have a set day. When I do post, I try to post at 8 a.m. PST. Honestly, I'm gonna give myself credit. I have been doing pretty well recently. I've been posting at least one, and honestly, sometimes two videos a week. Spring break is also coming up. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it yet because I don't really know. I don't wanna spoil anything yet, but I'm starting to plan some content over the next few months for spring and summer. So if you guys have any suggestions, definitely comment them down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for all your support. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.